Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, this is Yazad and let me begin by wishing you all a very happy Republic Day. The Constitution of India came into effect on January 26, 1950 and every year we celebrate this day as Republic Day. As we celebrate our 73rd Republic Day this year, let us not forget it is this very constitution that has given us the freedom to think or the right to speech. But are we truly free in the modern world or are we imprisoned by technology? Almost everything we do involves technology in one way or another, which begs the question, what drives this technology? The answer is semiconductors. Semiconductors power almost everything in our daily lives, from smartphones to planes, refrigerators, washing machines, television sets, laptops, or even behind your steering wheel. Semiconductors have evolved to improve technologies for our entertainment and convenience. Semiconductors rule the world today. This is the strategic resource that all emerging and great powers of the world are in a race to both secure and control. Now, the global shortage of semiconductor chips has triggered concerns as companies around the world fail to meet rising demand for a wide range of essential as well as modern tech products. The shortage has intensified over the last couple of months. The government recently announced the PLI scheme for the semiconductor industry. The scheme is worth a whopping 76,000 crore rupees to be invested over the next five to six years. The scheme aims to boost the semiconductor and display manufacturing in India. It will position the country as a global hub for high-tech production. Semiconductor demand in India is most likely set to outstrip supply in the near future. While there are not many companies involved directly in manufacturing semiconductor chips in India, there are some indirect plays. Let's take a look at listed Indian companies engaged in the semiconductor industry. First up, we have Tata Alexi Limited. It was in August last year when the Tata Group showcased its ambitious plan to foray into semiconductor manufacturing. The company's chairman, N. Chandrasekharan, said the group has already pivoted into a number of new businesses like electronics manufacturing, 5G network equipment, as well as semiconductors. Now, the Tata Roops is in talks with at least three state governments in India to invest $300 million towards a new semiconductor assembly and testing unit. The states are Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Telangana. The group is also in talks with major international companies including those from Taiwan for its semiconductor chip business. Tata Alexi, which is a Tata Group company, is already in the business of semiconductor services that includes artificial intelligence tools and frameworks, design solutions, and development. Note that this foray will help the Tata Group supply semiconductor chips and other components to Tata Motors and Tata Power, apart from other companies across the world. The stock is up by almost 180% in the last year and is trading close to its highs. Next up is Dixon Technologies India Limited. Dixon Technologies is the biggest manufacturer of LED TVs in India, producing TVs for brands like Samsung, Panasonic, Xiaomi, TCL, OnePlus, and many more. They also manufacture lighting products for companies like Philips, Havels, Cisco, Bajaj, Wipro, Orient, and more. Last year, the company forayed into information and communications technology hardware including laptops, desktops, tablets and servers, and set up a factory in South India. As chips are quite important for TVs and other electronics which Dixon makes, it could set up a chip manufacturing plant in the future. However, the company's CFO recently said that it has no ready plans for now as chip manufacturing plants require high capital expenditure investments. From a low of 2747, the share price went on to a high of over 5750. Currently, it trades below 5000 rupees, but it is still up around 70% over the last year. Number three on our watch list, we have ASM Technologies Limited. ASM Technologies provides consulting and product development services in the areas of engineering services and product R&D. The main clients of ASM Technologies 
include reputed customers involved in manufacturing of semiconductor equipment and network devices. Now, as the pace of technological advancement has been very high in these industries, the company's clients invest significantly in R&D to stay ahead of competition. This results in recurring revenues for ASM. ASM Technologies is in the process of expanding its service offerings and has recently forayed into areas of virtual reality, Internet of Things and open edX platform management. As the company is closely linked to the semiconductor industry, its shares have been on a spectacular run this year, especially in the last two months. Over 100% gains have just come in the past two months alone. In the year gone by, shares of the company are up a whopping 439%. Surprisingly, mutual funds, FII or DIIs don't hold any stake in the company. In fact, as per ASM Technologies' latest shareholding pattern, promoters hold majority of the stake. Moving on to number 4, Spell Semiconductor Limited. Spell Semiconductor is engaged in offering electronic integrated circuits. Its products are used mostly in cell phones, computers, notebooks and personal digital assistants. Its facility, Natronix, is India's first and only semiconductor IC assembly and test facility. The company's customers are some of the biggest integrated device manufacturers and fabulous companies in the US, Asia and Europe. Now, while the company's shares are on a tear this year, it has little to offer on the financial front. For the most recent September 2021 quarter, the company has posted a loss of 17.3 million rupees. This was its fifth consecutive quarter of losses. Number five on our list today is Most Ship Technologies Limited. Most Ship Technologies is a semiconductor and system design company with a focus on turnkey, ASICs, mixed signal IP, semiconductor and product engineering and IoT solutions catering to various industries. Now, this little-known company has emerged as a leading semiconductor design services company, providing various services to clients globally. It has a track record of more than 20 years. The company has four arms, namely Gigacom Semiconductor LLC in California, Gigacom Semiconductor, Vishakhapatnam, First Pass Semiconductors in Hyderabad, and the Institute of Silicon Systems in Hyderabad. Moshib acquired these companies as part of its growth plan to offer the full suite of skill set and expand its business geography. From the lows of just 14 rupees touched last year, shares of most ship technologies have surged to levels above 80 rupees. That's a gain of over 493% in just one year. Now, after trading in a range, shares of the company broke through and gained momentum after the PLI scheme was informed. Over the last few weeks, the shares are up almost 100%. Moving on to number six, we have Ratan Shah International Rectifier Limited. Now, this company manufactures semiconductor devices, power rectifier assemblies, and semiconductor diodes. The semiconductor devices which it makes includes diodes, rectifiers, thyristors, among others, ranging from 10 amps to 12,000 amps, with voltage groups ranging from 200 volts to 5,000 volts. In 2005, Ratan Shah International was taken over by Dr. Harshad Mehta and Mrs. Bhavna Mehta, the promoters of Silicon Power Corporation US. Just like other stocks involved in the semiconductor industry, shares of Ratan Shah International have also seen a spectacular run on the bosses of late. Since 21st January 2021, when the stock was trading at just 36 per share, it has continuously traded in an uptrend and has gained over 1000% in the last year. Currently, it trades at levels close to 450. And finally, on our watch list, we have Vedanta Limited. After the Tatas, the Vedanta Group has announced to invest a huge sum to make displays and other semiconductor chips in India. It was announced recently that the Vedanta Group is planning to invest $15 billion over the next 5 to 10 years to make displays and other semiconductor chips in India. Now, this investment will be made through Avanstrate Inc., a glass substrate manufacturer in which Vedanta has a controlling strip, an integrated display fab facility and a separate semiconductor facility will be set up. Avanstrate is in talks with various states that have experience in electronics, including Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Haryana. 
these states provide incentives over and above the central government schemes. So how exactly does India stand to benefit? Note that building a semiconductor ecosystem needs big investments and critical infrastructure to support it. The plants need a continuous supply of electricity and water. Even a single manufacturing plant can use anything between 7 and 30 million liters of water per day. It also needs manpower. If we go by estimates, the recent PLI scheme could lead to the creation of 35,000 jobs apart from 1 lakh indirect employment opportunities. It could also generate investments to the tune of 17,000 billion rupees. Now, as the chip shortage seems to be far from over and the demand is expected to rise, India stands to benefit as it has adequate resources, water and manpower. Also, in September 2021, India made a deal with Taiwan. Now, this deal allows Taiwan to transfer technology for a chip plant worth an estimated $7.5 billion in India. These ships would power everything from 5G devices to electric cars. Meanwhile, India will be financing 50% of the chip foundry capex. In addition, the facility will enjoy tax breaks and other incentives. This deal is certainly a win-win for both India and Taiwan. Now that's all we have time for this week. For more of such profitable ideas and information, sign up to Equity Master's free daily newsletter, Profit Hunter. Go ahead, click on the link and sign up for Profit Hunter, a daily e-letter dedicated to making you a smarter investor. And it's free. This is Yazad signing off until next time. Happy investing. Stay safe. Goodbye. Our new research uncovers some shocking truths behind today's hottest investment opportunity, electric vehicles. Don't invest your money in EV stocks before seeing our research. Click here to sign up for our special event to know it all for free.